before the video starts, I just wanted to say that uh, the unfortunately Victor's Wi-Fi because he was in the fight hotel was like really bad so i had to really edit this so if it seems like it's kind of jump cutting and things like that it's not because i'm trying to cut out anything that uh, victor wanted to say but it's because there, there was a lot of long pauses in between each uh so in between sentences that i would have to just cut it just so it actually uh be heard fast so uh, just thank you for your patience and I promise the video isn't uh, that bad. What's up guys? It's Jack here and today, you know, I have a special guest with me for this Saturday night. Um, he's fighting Rafael Asuncao on uh, the UFC prelims for this weekend. Please welcome Victor Henry to the show. Victor, how are you doing? Feeling skinny, bro. I've been dieting and it sucks because you gotta you gotta stop eating all the foods that you like. Yeah, I could I could imagine, you know. Um, going through a whole training camp like that, you know, must be pretty difficult. So I want to rewind real quick back to, you know, January UFC 270. You made your debut. Uh, how did it feel to, you know, not just get a UFC contract, but also, you know, finally win in the UFC and get your first win? I never really considered getting a win in the UFC the uh, the height of my career. And in the UFC with Partney, uh, that, you know, all those things are secondary to uh, in there and get a fight is great you know but that's the main thing you have to go out there and win the fight you know they don't put too much uh too much merit on who i fight for because i've been fighting for so long yeah yeah you know i was gonna say uh you know looking you know looking at your age you know you are like in the 34 35 range so you know the ufc is really you know believing in you in that uh, in that aspect of it but um, you know, you've, like you just touched on, you fought on many uh, different organizations. You know, how does it feel fighting in the UFC? You know, what is the difference between, you know, other organizations and, and the UFC? Like, what other things do they bring to the table? It comes, to, it comes down to the way the promotion does things. In the way. A lot of times, promotions, they tell you, okay, you show up on this day to weigh in, and then you show up the next day to fight. The way you cut weight, the way you hydrate, the way whatever you eat, that's all on you. The UFC does a really good job of uh, weight at how can we help. They they really make the fighter comfortable in in the in the in the respect of okay we're gonna make sure you, know, you don't have to worry about what you eat, what you're gonna drink what you're gonna they take care of that for you mm -hmm. and as fun it's also pretty uh, it's also pretty uh, restrictive you know it's like what if I want to go do something else and then you have, you know when I was fighting in fight in Japan it was it was a lot more freedom but the, with the freedom came the responsibility sure that you do. Uh, that you come and you're ready to fight. You know, the UFC really takes care of you and, you know, it's promoting because they go around the world. You know, um, all the other promotions that I fight for, they don't quite have the pocket. Each promotion has something over the other. Yeah. Yeah, of course. You know, and as we just touched on, you know, uh, your last fight was in January, and now it's you know October. Uh, what what was what was the reason for that long wait? Was there like an injury? Did you just want time? You know, what, what was the uh, what was the purpose of waiting? Uh, you know, um, you know, you know, when you're in time, little bumps and bruises happen. You know, nothing major. Mm -hmm. But when I got when I start camp, foot. I don't want to start camp with a bad knee or a bad foot or a bad elbow, whatever. Like you know, I want to make sure that you know in the gym all the time having these little bumps and bruises of course helping other people get ready for their fights you have to take a little break but i don't take breaks so i have to just make sure that i train around my injuries and things so not fighting condition uh, I'm, I'm i'm here for the uh, for a good uh, for a good show yeah you know uh yeah I, I mean i'm glad to hear that it was nothing too serious but i totally understand that uh, and to me, it also seems like that the UFC is, you know, pushing you, you know, your last fight, I believe you were the headlining like prelim, uh, of that night. And now you're fighting a guy like Rafael Sunsau. So how does it feel for just your second fight in the UFC that you're fighting a guy like Rafael Sunsau, who's been here for, for years? It could be the UFC trying to promote me. It could be the UFC trying to get Rafael Sunsau out. It could be that, you know, there's just reasons, you know, but. The only thing that matters is that I go out there and I put on a great show and uh, and I and I generate revenue for putting on an exciting fight. So if the UFC thinks that this is going to be an exciting fight, then you know the fact that I'm in it is already you know since I was going to go out there and and eke and and match my uh, match my intensity and everything, then we're going to have a great fight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are, is there any you know is there any nervousness? You know, I know of course I'm not trying to say you're scared or anything, but are you at all nervous? You know, because you are matching up a guy against Rafael who's been in the UFC for over ten years, and obviously this is just your first year. I stopped being 
the only nervousness is for the fight itself, and it's the same nerves that I get for every fight. You know, I've enough to know that all all the all the stress that goes with getting in a fist fight with somebody on national television and in front of them. So, you know, that doesn't really doesn't really matter to me. What matters is that I am about to get in a fight. Uh-huh. In, in the UFC, in front of thousands of people, where you're fighting uh, in a local show, um, in front of a couple hundred people, be there. I'm concerned about the betting odds and the the arena size or the uh, the uh, the take all that is the of, of the promotion. You know, I'm here to fight, and um, I gotta make sure that when I when it comes, you know, if you get caught, uh, all those things, then you're not you're not thinking about the person trying to punch you in the face in front of you. Yeah, yeah, you know, of course, and uh, you know what? When you know, obviously, training for a guy like Rafael, you know, in in your training camp, what what did you specifically like focus on? You know, what what skill set of his were you focusing on? Well, it's it's tough to say. Plenty of experience, um, and with that experience comes the ability to do basically all of it. In in, in when it can box, he can kick, he can wrestle, he can he can get submissions, he can he can do all those things. You know, so things. But the main I myself for was a re a new and reinvigorated Rafael Sunsao. You know, he he switched camp. he's trying to still. So if he's still trying to improve, that means he's still trying to win to the best of his ability. He's up the gloves. He's trying to go out and make those adjustments so he can win. You know? So I have to be I have to go on style that is for his job, fighting for his livelihood and is probably gonna be the most dangerous that he could be. Maybe not in his physical prime. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well I was going to say, uh, you know, uh, obviously you said you were, uh, you know, you were dieting, you know, and uh, you're saying to me, and uh, I assume is, is this weight cut going to be a lot? How, how difficult is the weight cut going to be uh, to get to the weight on Friday? I mean, all suck. They, yeah, I mean, it, they all suck. All weight cuts suck. Um, it's just it's just part of the game. I mean, if you could, I mean, but that, then again, that, you know, there's always going to be your big weight cutters. I'm not a big weight cutter, but being able to is one thing but being able to fight the next day is another i'm not a big uh up on 70 all the way i think uh i think that that'll be okay for a little bit but then you start meet you start going up against those guys that are really hip and slide out of the wall dog tired by the third round or in the middle of the second you can't fight anymore so yeah mm-hmm. yeah um, i i agree and with- maintenance i think is uh is uh is, yeah, I, I think it's it's paramount. Yeah, well, yeah, I was gonna say I, I agree with you. Uh, I agree with you there in that regard. Like, I think definitely it's a lot better to cut weight closer to your actual weight because you'll uh, be able to perform better. I mean, when you look at guys like Colby, you know, just for example, that he performed so well at 170 and he has really good cardio. I think it has a lot to do with the fact that he, uh, you know, he cuts so close. You know, I think he walks around like 185, you know, or so. So he cuts probably like 10 pounds you know throughout whatever his camp or whatever i don't know but so i definitely think it's a good thing for you uh my final question here is you know obviously you got the fight on saturday final prediction you know what do you think is going to happen uh how do you think uh this fight with rafael is going to go i'm trying i'm trying out of there like you know i'm trying to get uh, yeah I'm, I'm not trying to be in there for all night you know uh we don't get paid by the hour or the minute the quicker i can get it better so i'm trying to get out of, get him out of there as soon as i understand it and, and see what his game is about in a second mm-hmm. yeah uh do, are you thinking uh are you thinking knockout are you thinking uh submission what do you think if, uh, if you, just based on your uh pr- prediction well that's you know? on him doesn't it yeah yeah true 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 that uh thank you victor for <clears throat> coming on once again everybody he'll be walking out about six o'clock on saturday uh or so uh you know anything you want to shout out or say to the fans before your fight tune in to, uh, to the to the prelims and watch me and Hafa Al Sunset go and beat the crap out of each other. Um, you know you go to Twitter and I'll see you guys then. All right, thank you, thank you for so much for coming on. I look forward to to watching you fight. And yeah, thank you, thank you, like I said, for coming on, uh, Victor. And uh, yeah, you know, hopefully you can come back on to talk about the win. Absolutely, man. Take it easy. All right, thank you so much for coming on. <laughs>